Okay, here goes the Vortex V8 ignition timing. No timing light used, no vacuum lines, nothing like that. There's the distributor tab hold down bolt. You want to loosen that up, not too much, because you'll be fighting with your timing. Not too tight, because you'll be fighting with the cap. So now we're going to go ahead and fire it up. This is what I'm using for a scan tool. It's a laptop. This is a scan XL made by scantool.net with the GM add-on. Today we're working on the camshaft retard correlation. Alright. As you can see I'm nine degrees out. Way too high. You want to be in between negative two and positive two just because if you go any higher than that you may see some uh, rough runnability above 70 miles an hour so you don't want none of that okay and now here's another part you gotta be above a thousand rpms to actually see where your camshaft correlations at so there's this little tiny star head right there it's a little uh, stud of some kind what you do is you push it in until it actually pulls your throttle lever out like that so we're gonna go ahead and use this T15 right here star head see how it brings out bring us up there and it stays where you want it so that's a good thing we're at a little above a thousand we're gonna take it a little bit more That's the only way it'll actually show up and read. There we go. Now we'll come over here. Now you'll see where we're at. We're in between eight and nine degrees. It's starting to read. Now, if I give it a little twist, it'll start to move. So let's go twist the distributor. There it is. Take your hand. A little twist. Boom, perfect. Look at that, negative one. First shot. All right, let's take it a little bit further up, just a hair, because that's what I like. I like to be right on the zero. Zero degrees, right in between. There we go. Another hair there. See, you gotta be real careful because it'll bump up and down on you. So you gotta make sure you're right where you need to. It dropped a negative degree on me just because I went too far. So that's what makes it real difficult is getting that timing just right. Once you're done getting the timing set, what you'll do is you'll disconnect everything, disconnect your battery, um, and you'll take that little plug we use that T15 on and you'll loosen that up. But don't loosen it too far because your throttle plates will start to stick. So. This is how you set the timing on a Vortec V8. There is no other way. Unless you want to go to GM and spend the money or get one of those Tech 2 uh, scan tools for $2,500. So this was $189 altogether, cheaper than actually having my ignition timing set by GM. So this is how you do it, guys. All right. Good luck to you.